tournament, guys. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tournament weekend yes. is finally here. Yes. Yes. Today is the last day of the drum tournament, the pre-tournament to the Pompano Showdown. We are here at Warrior Beer Company for the measure in of the drum tournament. And this is actually the pre-party to kick off the Pompano Showdown starting tonight at midnight. If you guys have been following along with the channel, you guys know we do these tournaments every six months in spring and fall. We always donate to a charitable donation. We have the campfire fund right here behind us. And we actually brought in a second one this time because we have two tournaments. So Jamie's mom's house will be here Sunday and proceeds from the drum tournament will go to that organization. Kicking out the tournament, we got about 10 minutes before we're gonna do the official measure in to see who wins the Swell Pro Fisherman Max FD2. A few of the boys already showing up. We got Jason from Redfin, Mr. Larry Grossman, our official tournament announcer. Yakking with Jack. Frisky. Frisky thinks he has the winning fish. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. That's an old, old picture. I said, do you see how tanny is in the picture? Old. Let's get the drone, baby. Yeah. We got all this stuff stashed yeah. back here, guys. I've been I've been running trips all day. All this will be for Sunday. So much stuff, guys. Captain Bill Willis owner and operator of Lost Bay Tackle in Orange Beach and Gray's Tackle in Perdido Key just absolutely unloaded on us for the raffle, giveaways, tournament winning prizes, all kind of stuff. Trying to dig the drone out of here because we are about uh, to do the giveaway. Well, not really giveaway, the winner of the drum tournament, which Mr. Frisky thinks he has. We're gonna find out. So Swell Pro sent this over for the first place winner, guys. $2,500 fishing drone. They also sent a couple extra blades. These guys might break here and there. And then the floaties. So when you're flying this guy over the Gulf of Mexico, you can feel safe because you strap these to the legs. And if it does happen to fail on you, this guy is floating. He's not gonna sink. Dude, dude, I, I let thunder fly it. And then you can fly wherever know, you want to fly. I that day. You can fly wherever you want to fly and then this hit return home. Yeah, I was and, fishing yeah. with you when you let it fly. It was awesome. I never fly it back. I just return it home. Yeah. yeah. You gotta get thunder dialed in so you can make a career out of it. <sighs> to show you guys this beast. <sighs> there she is, guys. Got two batteries. Got your remote here. These are your blades and everything. This thing is like a Toyota, guys. It is so user friendly. I let that guy fly mine. Somebody in the next five minutes will be going home with this. This is the beginning of a four day video, guys. I am gonna keep the cameras on during the whole tournament, condense all this down into one video, but you guys are gonna get four days of action. Obviously, I'm not fishing the tournament, but I will be out on the beach trying to find registered anglers doing some footage with them. Thunder Baby's gonna fish it, so I'll be out there with him. My brother, Bulldog Bohannon, has flown into town from Texas, so he'll be in the garage getting gear, I'm sure. And we're gonna take you guys along the journey this whole weekend until the major event, the weigh-in on Sunday, and it's a party, y'all. Our headline sponsor this spring is Deerfield Fabrication and Welding, and Brian is coming into town. Not only did he put up the biggest amount of cash for winners, He's bringing the first place prize, which is a custom beach dolly. If you guys are watching any of my videos, you've seen me out on the beach with that little beach dolly. That thing is perfect for like just quick trips. Scouting, I use it a lot, scouting for guides. So if I have a trip coming up later in the week, I want to get on the beach and find some fish, I take that dolly. I can book it up and down the beach a lot quicker than I can with like that four wheel car. It breaks completely down. And when I say completely down, guys, you can fit this thing in the back of a Honda. Brian has designed this thing with two reasons in mind. For the guy who doesn't have room for the big four-wheel cart, and then quick, fast, convenient trips. What you got, Larry? How big? <laughs> pinched the tail. He pinched it. 31. 31 inches. That ain't gonna do it. That ain't gonna do it, y'all. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Do I'll show you All right, mine. guys. It get, is that time. I am reviewing videos. Let me get. Let me get back to the beginning. Okay, here we go. There 
there she is, guys. The Swell Pro Fisherman Max, Mr. Frisky Fizz, will be going home with that. He's been wanting one of these things for the last six months, guys. He's been after mine, trying to buy it, trying to offer me trades. <laughs> and he earned it, guys. He was out there every morning humping it, and it was not great conditions. He stuck it out and prevailed. What you think? What you think about Frisky winning? Um, I don't know. Congratulations, Frisky man. You deserve it, buddy. You were out there pumping. I know you were. I wouldn't have been out there in them conditions. You wash those hands. Here we go, guys. First day of the tournament. It is Friday morning, bright and early. Water is not as bad as I was expecting. You guys saw the pre-party from last night. I got home, got the angler numbers together. I believe we're at around 140 registered anglers. That's typical for our tournaments. One tournament we had like around 180, but that's the highest number we've ever got. They always hold around 140, 150. I believe we have 10 kids in the tournament, the rest adults. This is a three day banger guys. People are driving in from out of town, out of state. My brother's here from Texas. It is one of those events where people don't go home, y'all. They sleep on the beach, man. It is absolutely beautiful spring morning out here, guys. It's starting to warm up a little chilly when we got up, but it's already shaping up to be a great weekend, guys. Oh, catch up to him. Catch up to him. You forget how to do this? <laughs> They're out deep this morning, guys. Come on, yeah, it is. I know. I know that hit, dude. I know that rod bin. Come on. Here we go, guys. We ain't been here five minutes. Walk with him, Josh. Get in front of him. He's gonna fight like hell when he gets to that lip. There he is. There he is. Nice one. All right, there you go. I think that's probably the first time I've That's a good one, dude. Yeah. That's, a, that's going to the tournament, bro. First damn really? fish. Yeah. Damn, Josh, you're so lucky. <laughs> that's why they call him Bulldog Bohannon. He drives in from freaking Texas, and he's out here five minutes, and he catches a donkey. My brother's already pulling in some nice ones, guys. This one's right around two pounds. Not a tournament winner by any means, but this will make good table fare. You got it? All right. It wasn't too big of a hit, but there's a little something on there. We got another catfish on down there, guys. We are getting cat left and right. There's another one here. Check out this whiting, guys. <laughs> well, I shouldn't even call it a whiting. Look how dark it is. When Thunder was pulling it up, I thought for sure it was a catfish. I mean, catfish are on our mind right now. But that is a dark northern species whiting, Gulf Kingfish. Guys, this wind is absolutely relentless. It is not letting up. Thunder and I are hiding behind the beach cards. My brother and sister left. They gave up. I don't blame them. I almost went home, but then Charles showed up from Surf Pro Tackle. So I was like, let's give it a little bit longer. We came a little bit further east. We're still in Perdido, but the wet, but conditions are saying the winds are going to die down as the sun starts dropping. So that's what we're kind of waiting out, but it is absolutely ridiculous right now. It has been beautiful, pristine weather until, until, well, watch out, this bird's trying to get it. <laughs> Good job, buddy. You got a shark. Oh, no. You got a shark. Awesome. Look at that. You caught a shark, dude. Come on. Cool catch, buddy. Rawr. <laughs> Guys, it was horrendous out there yesterday afternoon. Just dark, dirty water, catfish after catfish. We actually jumped locations for about another hour and a half. Same thing. I gotta get Thunder East if he's gonna have any chance of catching anything besides a catfish. <laughs> We're gonna try to hit the afternoon bite for a little while here. I got dinner at my mom's tonight. Again, my brother's in town. So I believe Thunder's best bet is probably gonna be tomorrow morning right before the weigh-in. I'm gonna get him out there. I'm gonna spend two hours on the beach and then I gotta get really to the site and start setting up. What you think, man? You gonna get one? I'm gonna get a pompadour winner. 
he's gonna get a pompano winner. Let's take a walk down the beach. I'm over here on Johnson. See who we see. I see a lot of rods lining this coastline, guys. And I know we're gonna run into some people we know. Right off the bat, I see some 15 foot rods. Like you can't miss them. <laughs> so I know that's Tony Pagione. Tony fishes the longest rods, guys. Like they are noticeable on the beach. You can look down the beach and see a sea of rods and you can always spot Tony. Y'all getting catfish to death too? No catfish. No catfish? It's a monster drum, one pump in the cooler and two pump breakoffs. Oh, you too, buddy. I like that shirt. I like it, dude. <laughs> like, a, like a tournament pompano. Uh, 14 and a half. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Respectable. Yeah. But nothing nothing gigantic yet. N nothing like, I got it. No, yeah. unfortunately, I yeah. wish it was one big. But, you know, we're going to grind it out and see what happens. Oh, you got to. It's like, my brother, like, drove over from Texas. He's like, man, I just want to go ahead and get that four-pounder, and that could just hang for the rest <laughs> of the week. I was like, dude, it don't work like that. Hey, oh, man. Tony got one on. Oh, it won't be anything good. I think it went slack for a while when we were talking. Could be. Had no idea. Could be. Hey, it's getting heavier. Is it running on you at all? Uh, no. Right towards, right towards, right towards. Look at that beast. Oh, look at that beast. Look at something ate it. <laughs> something ate that beast. Scary. <laughs> that was. Look at that chomp mark, dude. I know, dude. Look at that. That's crazy. Was that a bluefish, maybe? Shark. You think so? Yeah. These boys have got a spread out here. Everything from like 14, 15 footers to four footers, all the way down the beach. Both these gentlemen are supporters, anglers, and sponsors of the tournament. So I am noticing something with this 12 rod spread, guys. This is a 12 rod spread. There is Ninja after Ninja. Ninja is one of our sponsors. We got a 12 footer, Ninja Dagger. Then we have the new bomber, the 13-3. That's the newest one to hit the market, guys. Another 12-footer. Another 12-footer. Okay, so this has got to be Captain Robertson's spread. He is fishing the Atlantic. They're fishing longer rods there. So he's got, looks like, three 12-footers and then two 13-3 bombers. Another 12-footer. <laughs> Ninjas everywhere, guys. It goes to show you, man, Matt Poole, owner and operator of Ninja, he is spread out across Florida. Captain Robertson, he lives eight, nine hours away driving, and he's fishing an entire Ninja spread out there, guys. All the way down to the four foot six runts. Tony Faggioni, fish gum, signature rod right there, baby. There we go, same rod. You can never tell with Tony's rods because they're so damn big. <laughs> you think so? Oh yeah, he's running. All right. Pop on, y'all. This could be this could be the tournament winner, Tony. This feels pretty big, dude. Can you imagine being here getting footage of the winner from the tournament? This is the winner. Right now. <laughs> going left. Coming in. Oh, he's coming in. He's going to start pulling now. Bring him in, buddy. He's start pulling. There he is. There he is. That's a pop for sure. Here he comes. Yeah. Got a little beat. Nice. Good fish. Good fish, Tony. Good fish, buddy. There you go. Same size as that one. Yep. That hit. Guess what? Please sickle fish gum. There you go, buddy. Nice. Good catch. Four more to go. Not big, but I'll take it. <laughs> That'll work. All right, guys. Back at it. Back on the beach. Day two, and it is like night and day with the water clarity out here today, y'all. If you remember in the beginning of the video, all catfish, dirty water. 24 hours later, look at this, guys. Overnight, it has cleared up enough for me to think this is going to be a successful trip.
Where did you crash it? Where's it at? It was like flying back here and a propeller blew up top and then it split. <laughs> this guy just crashed my drone. I've been flying this thing. Thunder's been flying this thing. I give it to my brother. First flight crash. What do you mean it wasn't you? You didn't put the propeller on good. <laughs> you crashed my drone. Watch the footage. <laughs> Let's assess the damage, guys. No propellers broke. It looks like this guy, the gimbal popped out, but it's just like a little rubber piece that pops right back in. I think these things are made to crash. They have to be. Yeah. Yeah, those pop right back in. Bam. Let's flip it. 50, 50 foot in the air, guys. This thing took a dive. 50 foot in the air. Oh, we got it on camera. The, the, yeah. Check the footage. Yeah. That, You'll they, see that I'm clean. The uh, the camera was on. I know. That's as soon as it crashed, I'm like, thank God. He said he was getting footage. <laughs> I looked away for one second. I saw it flying. I looked down. I was, no, I, this thing was flying because I was gonna bring it down and get yeah. ready. It was flying, and it was coming straight back at me. And then this propeller goes. <laughs> and then the whole drum goes. <laughs> that was a great swell pro lesson guys i have floaties for this thing i actually have a beacon too that i can attach to that drone to where if this thing were to crash somewhere out of sight i could find it and i'm lazy and i never put them on but if that thing would have done what it just did over the gulf it would have been gone guys lesson learned floaties will go on every trip now <laughs> every trip Oh, there you go, baby. That's a Papa No. Thunder, watch your rods. That was big. That's on the that's on the bomber, baby. We put that one deep, guys. This is the spot my brother wanted to fish. There was a skim border here, so we hadn't been able to get over here. The guy finally left. We've been here all of five minutes, guys. My brother, oh. my brother picked this spot because of this huge hole. The sandbar is out deep and it hey. cuts in. That one's going too. Where? Get it, Charlie. Charlie. Get it. <laughs> we got them everywhere, guys. We had a school. Keep an eye on your rods, Thunder. No, the other way, Charlie. Hold. There you go. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I think we're tangled up. Hold on. Hold on. There he is. I see him. Yeah, I did too. All right, we're on cross. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. That's a big one, Josh. That's a big one, Josh. <laughs> that's a big one, dude. That's massive. That's a, that's a tournament fish. Yo, that's going to the weigh-in, baby. Let's go. <laughs> that's going to the weigh-in. Got him on the bomber. We launched this one. Yeah, I'm all tangled up everywhere. This is the last hoorah. I'm gonna give it about two hours out here with thunder. Uh-oh. Okay. We're gonna give it two hours, guys, and then I have got to get home, start getting stuff to Warrior Beer Company for the weigh-in. This is it. This is the last hoorah morning of the weigh-in. I thought we were gonna have a little bit more chop out here, but it's nice and flat, guys. And the water has actually dirtied up overnight. The footage right before this was Saturday and it was looking beautiful. And it has dirtied up again. So we might be getting the cat daddies. So you got your bell open. Yep, get that bell open. All right, let me, hold on, let me get clear. All right, hit it when you're ready. Nice. I like that spot. That was a, that was a good one. No, we gotta fish up close too. I'm out 
Look at that water chicken. He's trying to get our bait. Good job. No fish. No fish. It was a rough morning. It was a rough morning. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we're about to get up there guys and start setting up, but first we're gonna get some breakfast here in Perdido, Hub Stacy's. <laughs> weigh-in it is starting to get put together we got Deerfield showed up our charities have showed up Jason with Redfin fishing is here they are slowly starting to trickle in guys you guys will not believe the amount of prizes we have for the raffle look at this guys Bass Pro just rolled up and unloaded this entire beach cart on it beach cart cooler bucket two rods sand flea rake all that's going to the raffle or the casting contest I think I might put that with the casting contest we got out here. Deerfield showing up in force like always. He's got a cart here for someone. I'm not sure who that cart's going. Um, I don't believe it's here for display. <laughs> it's probably someone who has ordered in the panhandle and since Brian was coming anyway, he just saved them with the shipping. We got the campfire fund set up. This is our main charity, guys. This is their third event they've been at with us. Great organization that fights against men's mental health. I work in that field and I do understand that like men's mental health gets overlooked, guys. Why? Because men don't cry, the stigma of all that nonsense. The Campfire Fund are a group of musicians that got this thing going after their good buddy took his own life. And an added benefit to having the Campfire Fund here is they always bring the patrols. Surf Pro Tackle, the new guy on the block, making a splash in the panhandle. Come on, Cliff. Come on, where's your tent? I don't know where to set up. I'll at. tell you. Where um boom, you can go. You might can go right there. Let me talk let me talk to Gary. You can go right there at the entrance. I don't care where. Yeah. The the, the shorter the better. The shorter the better. Go right there. <laughs> All right. Cliff. That's true. Green get them rigs. What's up, baby? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Getting all the winner's buckets set up here, guys. I got some extra buckets on the side for the guys who helped me out in the event. Larry Grossman, Smitty, Demo. Uh, Donnie's coming in this event to help me out with the raffle. My brother and sister, I always set them something aside just to say thank you. Let's get some stuff out to the casting contest. I wanna get the big boys out there. Our event announcer has made it and our raffle guy. Gary might be lighting this up tonight, y'all. He's been building on this wood pile for probably two years. Tonight might be the night. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, you're you're right on it. You're right on it. How many throws you got, Demo? Off live and drop one within a foot. Oh! oh so close. So close. <laughs> What's up, baby? Hey! Good to see you. Got man. one? No, not a winner. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fish. My, my brother got one that might be three, dude. We're adding another one to the prize pack, guys. The seven inch, the seven inch swords on the table. Hey, boy. I gotta move the buckets. Everybody's hitting the wood pile. <laughs> Y'all got one? We got two. Oh! I know. I know. I thought it was on the float hook. I was like, is that the float hook? I wish it was. 
Production. Shout out to Bass Pro. Uh, all the event workers, thanks for helping out. Can't do it without you. Panhandle Fishing Report, right here. You guys Woo! listen to the Panhandle Fishing yeah. Report every weekend? Yes! Thank you. If you don't, um, Don is going to be helping out. All oh, there he is. He's over at the podium, all the way from Indiana. That guy is passion. Uh, Michael Robbins and Brittany and Josh, thanks for being here and helping out. Um, Brian Sorrell from Greenfield Fabrication is here. He's got some awesome deals. I just bought some of his long uh, aluminum open face spikes. I got four of them because I'm tired of breaking all of my PVC. Uh, rod holders, banging them into the ground. So make sure you go see Brian. He's got some really good deals. He also fabricated and constructed the winner's dolly that we're going to be giving away. And it is sick. And I didn't win it, and I'm kind of mad about that. I tried. So a big shout out. Uh, special thanks to Redfin as well. Tony Faggione. Guys, what are you doing? Man? Have you guys seen the new fish gum product? Yep. Who's fish? First of all, you can't get this stuff, Harvey. You need to go on Shark Tank, dog. I, I can see uh, Actually, you Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> it's what? <laughs> uh, I'm out on it. No, wait a second. Yeah, so Tony has completely redone his fish gum line, and if you haven't had a chance to experience it and check it out, uh, the consistency is crazy good, and it's got some really cool qualities, like you can mix and match colors by peeling it apart and making your own custom colors. And it's um, it's really improved dramatically. So nice job, Tony, and your family. And your family. You, the whole thing runs out of your house, right? Like, you guys don't eat dinner, you just eat fish gum. We actually do eat fish gum. You do eat fish yeah, gum. Really What's good. your favorite flavor? Actually, I take that back so I'll get sued. Nobody eat fish gum, I'll get sued. Swell Pro is another one of our big sponsors, as you can see. I have their stuff all over the Panhandle salt tent here. Fish and you have to Again, huh? whenever you yeah. participate, I know a lot of, a lot of guys that three. Didn't okay. bring their fish to weigh, which doesn't make any sense to me. Rounding up the numbers. I mean, coming to the weigh-in and weighing fish is part of the fun, I think. Doesn't matter if you won or not. What you think, buddy? Who's gonna win it? It's kind of, you know, you kind of brag you got a bit. At least I caught a fish that I can weigh. Colby Fletcher, 3.24 pound. Colby, nice Colby. job, dog. Third place, bronze medalist. Dude, you got the 12-6? Nice, buddy. I was only a pound off. <laughs> Colby, nice job, man. Silver medal. Man, this is super tight. 3.32. So, 0.18 separated fifth through second. 3.32, Bradley Boucher. Is that right, Bradley? Yeah. Who wants your second place? Is that, is that the new 13 foot dagger? Oh, dude. So mad. That's the brand new 13 foot ninja tackle dagger, by the way. You gotta be careful when you cast that thing because it goes so far, it will do the circumference of the earth and hit you in the back of the head if you're not careful. Point oh two short of four pounds. He didn't get the fish gum coin, but he gets all this in a thousand bucks. The 12 foot dagger, the Deerfield Fabrication, incredible dolly. Got the frisky custom. It, it is a fr frisky custom build, by the way, on the rod. It's got a sweet pompano decal. I mean, it's beautiful. Um, enjoy that. And then you've got, a, is that a Deerfield bucket? Yeah, And a panhandle salt bucket? Yeah. And you get the Mahdi right there. Trophy. Trophy. And yes, four sand spikes come with it. And there's so much stuff in the bucket. And a, and a thousand bucks, by the way. 3.98 pound Lucas Gallman, come claim your prize. Dude, you're on the top spot of the podium. The 2024 champion of the Spring Pompano Showdown. We all have envy. Now, you can double your winnings if you make one cast and get it in the bucket out there. <laughs> you want the box or... Nice job, man. Congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. What are you going to do with the money? You already got everything you need. 
That's a, a pile. <laughs> That's a, look at that thing, huh? Roll it away, brother. Yeah, you're gonna love that rod, too. Okay, we're gonna do kids. Third place, 1.96 pounds. Well done, that's a beast. Connor Romero. Yeah. Right there, buddy. Right there. Right there. There you go. Yeah. 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 But that thing pulled him around like he was water skiing. Nice job, Connor. Again, don't go anywhere, guys, if you're on the podium. Group picture. Um, second place, 2.08 pounds. Close. Trayson Merritt? Nice job, Trayson. Is that your, is that your name, Trayson? Go. I want to make sure I get it right. 2.08 pounds. Rod, real combo. Bucket full of swag. The next Marty Torado. Beautiful first place trophy. Bucket full of stuff. And another wonderful rod combo. L.J. Lee, 2.4 pounds. Nice job, L.J., where are you? L.J. Lee, where is he? L.J. 2024, Junior Division Champion. L.J. Lee, give it up for L.J. Monster 2.40. Awesome! Congratulations. Good job, guys. Thanks for bringing the kids out and having them fish. By the way, super important. Thank you. Because fishing will ruin your life, like it did to me when I was young. Guys, my brain is spinning. <laughs> it was such an awesome, awesome turnout. This is Captain B. Captain B came in with the first place prize inside that bucket was a two night stay at Tuckaway Shores and a guided trip by him. So any of these guys out here that want to take a little vacation, a little getaway, they have a guide to show them where to fish. Where are you located, Captain? Tuckaway Shores is in Melbourne Beach and I fish everywhere from the Cape all the way down to Sebastian Inlet, all of the Space Coast. All of the Space Coast. So you get a two night stay, it's got a pool, a kitchen in. Pool, ocean front. Yeah, ocean front, right? I forgot to even mention that, right? So they got the thousand dollars, they got the stay, they got the frisky custom, they got the beach cart, which is retailed at 1400 bucks, and then a bucket full of goods, man, for a $45 entry fee, y'all. Captain B also brought in a whole huge swag bag from Ice Mule. If you've not seen Ice Mule, they're like a cooler company out of St. Augustine, Florida. He brought in a cooler bag, four cups, hats, all that went, it got spread out to different winners also. Yeah, great product. If you're a fisherman who likes to pack light, does a lot of walking while you're fishing, you cannot beat the ice cream I've seen them. I, I went on the website. I saw a sweet little backpack that's like perfect for scouting guys. When you don't want to take the cart, when you got to go just try to figure them out, you have the backpack cooler to put your catch in. You throw a couple ice packs in there and it's good to go hands-free. Thunder, you want it, baby? I want a nose. <laughs> 